Hey Inner Beauties, it's Aria, and welcome back to What's In It Beauty, where we get to the core of skincare. Together, we'll analyze our favorite beauty products, one ingredient at a time, so we can make better informed choices for our well-being, inside and out. Let's discover what's actually in our everyday personal care items on a deeper level, not just for its face value and what it's advertised for. It's time to be aware of the countless chemicals our bodies may be taking in through dermal absorption. And since everyone has a different body burden threshold, we'll never know when potential diseases may start to manifest. Today, we'll look at Urban Decay's All-Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This popular spray boasts what they call temperature control technology that lowers your makeup's heat for its effectiveness in keeping your look fresh and flawless for 16 hours straight. When misting this on, you'll likely end up breathing some as well. Curious about what's in it? Let's find out! From my research, we first have Alcohol Donate, a simple alcohol that breaks down skin oils resulting in drier skin. Due to its enhanced skin penetration properties, the likelihood of skin irritations are very high. Next, we have Dimethicone PEG7 Phosphate, an emulsifying agent that may contain impurities of 1,4-dioxane and ethylene oxide, which are known carcinogens. Sodium hydroxide is a pH adjuster that's associated with non-reproductive organ system toxicity. And lastly, we have fragrance, a word that represents a hidden list of chemicals used to manufacture the scent and may cause numerous forms of skin allergies to manifest. And here are the rest of the harmless ingredients listed in Urban Decay's All-Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So, what are your thoughts? I know All-Nighter is raved as holy grail to many beauty gurus out there, but for me, I didn't notice any life-changing difference in prolonging the longevity of my makeup. I have fairly tame combination skin with mild monthly hormonal breakouts, and the spray actually had an opposite effect and made my skin shinier than normal. I'm a makeup minimalist, so having a very thin layer of foundation on, the spray is most likely getting onto my actual skin rather than the makeup layer itself, so my skin reacts by producing more oils to compensate for the dryness that it causes. All Nighter's formula is laden with simple alcohols, that of alcohol donate, which falls into the bad and drying category, so I do not recommend this for people who have oily, acne-prone skin even though it may initially give you a temporary quick drying finish. Fragrance-wise, the formula has a robust, fresh scent with a hint of that rubbing alcohol smell. And their temperature control technology claim of quote-unquote lowering the temperature of your makeup is a prime example of taking marketing flair to the next level because it's just mainly water and alcohol they're talking about. All-Nighter may work much better for those who prefer heavier makeup application as it will adhere to your makeup products instead of your actual skin. And since this product may also contain carcinogenic impurities and fragrance chemicals, I would hold my breath and close my eyes and mouth to prevent the toxins from entering and potentially accumulating inside my body. So what's your verdict? Have you had a good or bad experience with the setting spray? Sharing your story will tremendously help me and other fellow inner beauties who may be interested in this product to either give it a go or give it a no. And my purpose of creating this channel is to connect with a health conscious where we discuss and learn together about the efficacy and potential hazards in the beauty and personal products that we all use daily. So I sincerely hope that this video was helpful for you to decide whether to buy or continue using Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Be smart, be beautiful, and be well, all at the same time. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already joined the Inner Beauty community, I hope you'll consider subscribing to get the latest and greatest updates as well. That's it for now, Inner Beauties. See you in the next video.